Hello, hello everyone. I'm intern and I don't know about the rest of you, but I think chess is way too complicated. Like seriously, you have all these pieces and they all move according to special rules and everything. Me, I like things simple. And you know what's simple? A shotgun. And that's what Shotgun King is all about. All right, let's do this. Our king has a shotgun. That's my kind of chess. So I can just, you know, venture up here, be careful about bishop and all those special pieces and just uh, blam them and blam them. Yes, I love it. And this knight just wandered a little too close, so he's dead. <laughs> uh, and these pawns are about to have a bad day. Oh yeah, that was lovely. So then I gotta reload, so I venture over here, take out a few more pawns. <laughs> uh, and this rook wants a piece of the action, so I can just take care of him. Come over here, and now I have to reload a whole bunch. So I just gotta dance a little bit. Take out that pawn and fire some shots at the king. Oh, this is just brutal. I love it. And now that the floor is done, we get a card. And when we pick, they get a card. So we got to be careful what we're picking here. Gain ammo every time you kill a pawn. I like the sound of that. But then when I do that, they lose a pawn and get a bishop. And I lose max ammo. Don't really like the sound of that. Blunderbuss, more firepower and bigger firing arc. And they get faster. I think I can live with that especially with the extra firepower. That's almost a 90 degree arc. That's gonna be a little difficult to work with, but I think I can do it. So I just gotta move in a little closer, close enough to, you know, take out a knight. Oh, and a pawn at the same time. That was brutal. And take out the bishop and take out some more pawns. Yes. Why can't chess be this exciting normally? And blam blast a few more pawns and take out the king as soon as I can. And with this, he should be dead. Yes. Beautiful, love it. Ooh, what do we have here? Max ammo plus three. And then they gain a bishop, but the bishop can move orthogonally. So I'm pretty sure that means it can move like a queen, but it can't attack like a queen can. Interesting. Wand of Wrath, deal firepower damage to a non-king target. Oh, and then remove two pawns, add a bishop, double firing arc for one bullet. A 160 something, no, 170. That's almost 180 degree firing arc. That seems really bizarre. But I like the idea of dealing damage to a target whenever I want to. So I'm gonna go with that. Okay, and it's like a consumable. Oh boy, let's see how whacked the shotgun can get. But for right now, I should be able to take out those guys. No problem, as soon as I do one of these, as soon as I do one of... Ah, oh, come on, work with me, game. I'm trying to take out some pieces. Just like that, but that was... <laughs> I was pointing the gun over here to take out that bishop, and then the pawn just took all of it. Wow, this is a weird gun. Already, I love it. And I don't want to back myself into too much of a corner, so I'm going to move over here and then move a bit more over here. And now the rook's in my way, so I can move here. And this is already not looking good. I can move here. And if I take out this bishop, then I'll be safe. Good, move over here. And I have enough firepower to take out the rook in one volley, so that'll be okay. And none of these other pieces are a threat to me right now. I like that. So blam blast that. And I have to reload. So I can move over this way, move back over this way. Maybe I should just go and take out the king right now. Because that bishop isn't gonna be able to do anything to me. Yes! This is already getting weird and it's only floor three. Oh boy. No matter what we pick, we have to deal with a queen. Protect me from death once per floor. Ooh, that could be handy. Plus two firepower. Flip card if your king is not on the board's edge. Oh, so we have to be on the edge of the board for this card to work. Death protection, that's gonna help me. That's gonna help me quite a bit. I'm gonna take that. And now we have to deal with the queen. Although, we have six firepower, and this deals firepower damage to a target. So we could take out the queen right away. Should I try it? I kind of want to. So just do something like that. <laughs> that queen stood no chance, and now I have, don't have to worry about it. Oh, that was brutal. And so I just got to move over this way so I can take out the rook. Yes. Wait, both of these bishops are on the black? Well, that sucks for them, because I just move over this way, take out the rook, 
or I mean the knight before he does anything. Take out the bishop. Woo! I am liking the way this is turning out. And there's only a king and a pawn left. Oh, this is just mean, but I'm okay with that because oh, I gotta load. Blammo! All right, things are looking up. Wait, I get more? protecting mist so I could protect myself twice and then what does this do once per floor lift a non-king piece on your pass without ending your turn what what does lifting even mean uh queen and king get more health I don't want to give them that adds two knights I think I can be okay with extra knights and protecting me twice per floor I'm just gonna be undying Ooh, and that's back I really could just use this to take this out to take out the queen every time that's just bullying, and I'm okay with that. Oh, and the rook's right here already. Well, that sucks for you, bud. And all these guys moved in. I don't want to be cornered by too many knights, so I'm just going to take them out really quick and move right here and move right here. No, I can't, but I can move right here and right here. I'm just running away from things now. Right here ought to be safe. Take out the bishop. There we go. And hopefully this whole shot takes out both of these pieces. Yes! <laughs> I love it. And now I have to reload. So I'll just move this way, and then this way, and then this way. So now I'm right next to the king. Blast him to pieces, and some more pieces. The knight's dead. Gotta reload. And the king goes bye-bye. Yes! Floor five done. Ooh, extra firepower and a tighter arc. Remove a knight, add bishops, huh? Or ammo regen and fire range increase. Add two knights at the start of turn 20. Huh, I mean, I like the idea of more fire range. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this. I can take out a lot of pieces before turn 20, so the extra knights should not be a problem. And that piece is back, so you know how we do it. Queen goes bye-bye. <laughs> Oh, I love it. And then move over here so I can fire at the knights really quick and you really quick. And got a reload so I can do one of those numbers. Take out you really quick. Move over here. Take out you really quick. I said really quick. Thank you. Reload because these extra pieces can't do anything to me. Bishop goes done. Only turn 12, so the extra knights I don't think are gonna make an appearance. And just move a little bit so we can have extra things to take out the king. He gets one shot and more. And that's floor six done. There's only 12 floors, so we're halfway done. Oh wait, what? The queen moves slower, but the queen can die? That just removes my entire strategy. One of gust, repel all white pieces northward. Well, not being able to take out the queen is more problems than it's worth. So I guess I'm gonna have to deal with extra firepower, but a wider arc and remove a bishop, add pawns, huh? Okay, a 117 degree fire arc. This is getting ridiculous. Plus there's that saboteur on one of them, on one of the shots. So how's that gonna work? That's, if that doubles, that's, that's over 200 degrees. That'd be firing like behind me a little bit. That's a little weird. But if I just move a little bit closer, then I can already shoot things. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Gotta take out the queen. And now I just dump buckshot in their general direction. Wow, do you see that? That did fire behind me. So I guess that was an extra bullet and fire some more like that. Oh man, that's just mean. And I can reload so I don't have to move anywhere and take out the knight. <laughs> They're just going all over the place. Okay, but I can do something like that. The rook moves, so now I have to move and just fire some more shots at the king. Oh, please die from this. That would be amazing if he did. Oh, he's not dead yet, but I can reload, move right here and take out the king. Yes, I know, but you're about to die. <laughs> Ooh, floor seven done. Oh, and what do we have here? Remove a knight, add bishops. Hmm, an extra firepower as long as I'm on the edge of the board. But here, I get an extra firepower by default. Remove a pawn, add a bishop, and minus one ammo max. I do have a lot of pawns right now, but I don't really like losing max ammo. I think this corner card can help me out a lot. 10 firepower, wow. So before we forget, take out the queen. The queen's not even getting a chance to do anything. That's just mean and I'm okay with that. So I can just dance back and forth a little bit. Some more pieces can move into closer range so I can just take them out as much as I can. And I can do one of that. Take out the other knight. Oh man, that's so much 
firing happening right now. Like really, I just stand over here and shoot and they can't do anything about it. So I can move over here. <laughs> Those shots went directly behind me. What in the world? And I'm just blasting everything. Everywhere I look, something gets damaged. Okay, and now I have to move because of that stupid rook, but that's okay. Because I can just move back into position, reload. All the knights have backup, but they can't do anything right there, so I'm just gonna fire at the king. And the king's not dead yet. Why is he not dead yet? Well, see, now I have to go over here, and now I can blast him. Yes! Floor A done. We're, we're like three quarters of the way through this. Hmm. This is an interesting one. Remove the king, add a bishop, Bishops get extra health. Win if all bishops are dead. Weird. And then I get extra max ammo and chance to knock back. I mean, that could be really good because I'm hitting literally everything. Uh, all that. Yeah, no, I'm going with this one. So we have to take out the bishops. <laughs> That's so weird. Look at them. And since they're not kings, I could technically just blast them right now. I mean, the bishops haven't been much of a problem. So I'm just going to take out the queen like I usually do. All right then, and just dance a little bit. And there's already a bishop moving in, so I'm just gonna fire. And again, gotta reload and fire some more. That's one bishop down. Might as well do it again. And then I have to move. Blast this bishop. Oh, no way. You're kidding. Oh, I'm alive. Oh, I forgot I had these. I, th I thought my run was done. That was about to stop recording. Okay, okay. So I killed the pawn and then that cleared the lane for the rook. So that was a mistake. I gotta be careful of that next time. Thank you for that valuable lesson, rook. Also, why are you not dead? Well, anyways, I gotta move here and just blast that. Wow. Okay, and this bishop can be taken out. And now there's only one bishop left. So now I just gotta move a whole bunch to get some extra shots. I'm gonna take out these pawns so they don't get any ideas. And now I gotta close in on that bishop. But now they have knight back up. Because of course they do. So I gotta take out this one and move in. Oh, you're kidding me? The pawn got promoted to a bishop. Well, that's fine, because he's dead anyway. Like such as. The knight's dead, and all that's left is the one lonely bishop. And he is just fearing for his life. Which, wow, really? He was right there and only one pellet hit him. That's annoying. Man, he is just playing defense right now. Stop running away like that. There we go, floor done. Okay, gotta be careful about how many pieces I'm taking out. Oh, what? What is this? The moat, non-knight pieces can cross the moat in one move. Okay, add a pawn every four turns. Engrave scope, right click arc minus 45 degrees and range plus one. This bonus resets on each move or reload. Really? Add a pawn, pawns can walk two squares on the first move. I like that because the firing arc is just huge right now. And then that moat can be really helpful with limiting how they move. So minus 45 degrees on a 117 arc, that would drop it to a 72 degree arc, which is still a lot, but that extra range is gonna be really helpful with taking out bishops. Although I still like limiting how much they can move. So I'm gonna take the moat. It adds a pawn every four turns, which is pretty often, but I should be okay with that. And you know, do as we do, take out the queen. It's almost a waste because the firepower is just huge now. Okay, move over this way. Fire some shots, fire some more shots, and just move right here. Shoot this way, and shoot this way. None of those pieces are a threat, so take that. Take out this knight, the, that poor knight. And that bishop is dead, and I'm okay here so I can reload. <clears throat> but now I have to move so I can go like this. And yet yeah, that last bishop, he's playing defensively like all the time now, which is, Super annoying. But now I can just hop through the battlefield to get closer to him. And all those knights are making their way across the field. I will let them because this bishop should be about dead. Except he's not dead. Now he is. Floor 10. We're, we're almost done with this. Oh, man. 
Ooh, what is that? Deal eight damage to random enemies. Okay, but that adds a bishop and they can move orthogonally. That's gonna be annoying for that last one. Bishops can move across any obstacles. Uh, I'd rather they not. I'd rather take a bishop that can move orthogonally than something that can move across the obstacles because I just got that moat. And eight damage to random enemies. That's gonna be very nice. But also, how many enemies? Is it just one? Well, anyway, I'm gonna take out the queen like I do. <laughs> I just love how I've gone through this and the queen hasn't done a single thing. So I move over here and I can already fire some shots. Just like that. And just like that. And none of those pieces are a threat, so I can reload. Take out the bishop, hopefully. But I guess I gotta move closer for that. There we go. Move over here, take out this knight and move over here, take out that knight. Oh boy. And thankfully that thing, uh, the bishops cannot attack orthogonally, so they can only move that way. So anyway, I can just do some of that action and I have to reload, but that bishop's in the way. So I just stay on the black, so only one bishop is a threat and then move like that. Hmm. This is already getting to be a little bit of a problem, but I can take out that bishop, no problem. And though, Mm, that rook's right there now. Well, the bishop still can't attack this way, so I can stand here pretty safely and just blast that way. And I should probably start taking care of these pawns before they get in range. And the knights got added. That's okay. Okay, that was fine. Gotta reload. And I'm gonna take out that rook so he stops being a pest. Now I need to take out these knights. Uh, and the pawn just promoted to a rook. Hmm, you know what? I think now's a good time to try out the Wand of Downpour. Oh, I see, so it splits eight damage amongst random enemies, gotcha. Well, I can still take out that rook, and I have to reload. Okay, that was weird, the whole screen blinked. So I just gotta move a bit like this, and I have to get over that way. So now I can move closer like that. That just got promoted, which is fine. Because I just took him out right away. And blast over that way. Move over here, take out the knight. And that just became a bishop, because of course it did. So now I have to take him out really quickly. Very good. And that's it. Floor lemon is done. This is, oh boy, what is this? So many years worth of new subjects, so much time to make them all welcome and safe. Reduce the glass shards by one royal language with a shotgun. Are we about to have like a final boss? Oh yeah, that, that's a final boss. All the bishops just became normal pieces. Oh, this dude's got 24 health. Wow. Okay, so firepower damage. Let's take out the queen like we usually do. I mean, thankfully he's huge, which means that we can do damage from very far away and quite a bit of it, I think. So let's just start taking out pieces before they become problems and reload. I'm gonna have to take care of these bishops really quickly. So let's move here first and then move back over here. And then let's not get cornered. And I'm already on my way to getting cornered. Uh, this is not good. Let's see what the wand does. Okay. Well, it damaged things, which is good. Uh, I'm gonna have to move here, which gives me extra firepower being on the edge of the board, so I have that going for me. Fire shot, hopefully take out some things. Move here, and then move here, then back over here. And the knight's about to die, so he'll stop being a threat. Oh, but they're both a threat. Okay. Uh, move over here. Oh, I'm getting cornered now, so I have to move here. Oh no, I'm completely boxed in! Okay. I can take out this bishop, and he stops being a problem, and then I take out that one. Okay, I just took, wow. I just cleared out a lot of pieces. But I need to start doing damage to that king. Okay, so I move over here, reload, take out the knight. Oh, there I got damage to the king. Should I just close in on him? I could do a lot of damage if all the pellets hit. But I also have a lot of problems over there. And, that includes some knight backup, so I gotta move back over here, take out the rook. That's some more damage to the king. Oh, those are becoming rooks now. I'm, why, am I, why am I calling them rooks? Those are knights. Let's take out this one. Okay. And let's start. 
Oh, uh, you're kidding me. They just became a queen? Okay, I gotta close in on the king. Okay, that was a lot of damage. Um, let's back up. Oh, I can't. Uh, fire some more shots. Ooh, okay. And then I can retreat with this thing back to here. Um, slide over this way. But now I'm in range of that knight. This is becoming really tricky now. Oh boy. Uh, queen, you're dead. Okay, good. And I can move like a queen. Not across the moat though. Um, oh, come on. Treat me right. Uh, if I move here. Okay, yeah, I know, but okay, that. That rook is dead. Um, I can fire one more shot on the... Oh, no, I can't because of those guys. I can move here. No, I can't. I can move here. And then fire... Oh, the queen now. Um, I can move way over here. No, I can't. Shoot. I have to take out that queen. I do still have both of my death protections. So I have that going for me. Right? Yep. Okay, now I'm in the moat. I'm actually safe from the king's attack here. Did that Did that just win me the game? Okay. Oh, I need a reload. I can do that. And, yeah, I know, but you only have one health. You're about to die, dude. Yes! Oh, I think I just did it. Oh, yeah, I just did it. Wow, that death save bought me the game. Woo! All right, well that was Shotgun King. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know if you wanna see more. There's a lot of fun cards with that. So make sure to like the video and sub to intern.